Yeah, exactly. Everyone and, wants mm-hmm. Go Chafu. Let's see what she goes for. And it's going to be the go. Baltic. All right. Oh my gosh. And the Prophet. Once. Wow. Now, does she know what the to do against this? I think she does, knight c6, and there's this trap where what black quickly puts it, puts her knight on b4, and e3 in this position would be a very bad blunder due to knight b4. He's I think he's going to play stop. bishop g5. I think he's going to yep. play bishop g5, bishop f4. He has to stop that threat. Because he, he normally plays bishop g5. Um, yeah, wow. The yeah, prophet bishop g5 would here. be a good move. This is well, definitely <laughs> this is definitely my field. I mean, it's not the London, but it is a similar to bit position. So finally, a d4 game for me. Feel comfortable. I like the Finton is thinking here. He recognizes that there are some minefields, and he takes. Will she play knight b4 anyway? Okay. We talked to yeah. Then then White has e4. I think we mentioned this possibility. Yeah, he needs to develop his bishop. He, and, and, I, and I think he will. He very rarely plays e3. e3 would be a, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a, bit, of a, a bit of a slip. When he, yeah, and there Good. it is. And he does. So he told me that in our first lesson, he plays London Queen's Gambit. I was like, that's great. Just keep doing that. Like, that's a very solid opening repertoire. I have not talked. I agree. Even though, actually, I heard you talking badly about the London on the last PogChamp commentary you were doing, so... Oh, yeah, I had to defend myself. Uh, <laughs> and let me, again, backtrack. Explain um, yourself here. Right, right. So, so I, I play the London. I play the Trumpowski. I like, I like the dark squared bishop going to f4 and g5. But I was falsely accused. I was slandered of teaching all the Pog Champs participants the London. I am not Eric Rosen. I understand we're both international masters, but we're different. I promise. Right? Daniel, you're a GM. Oh, absolutely. They, you know, uh, they, they, they don't confuse you with other grandmasters named Daniel. How many grandmasters in the world are named Daniel? I have played another grandmaster named Daniel, Daniel Kampora. Uh, there's also Daniel King, who is a very prominent commentator. Um, oh, I and I think that might almost move. be it. <laughs> there he is. I mean, you know, Luke McShane here with a wig advantage. I don't know. Andrea, how's your impressions game? Can you do impressions? No, not even. Well, honestly, I have no idea who you guys are even doing an impression of right now, but. Yeah, but they're kind, you know. Oh, but I heard that, you know, this uh, international master, Levi Rosman, is very good at uh, Peter Leko, you know. Uh, Peter Leko has been doing a lot of uh, commentary. Uh, Peter, uh, what can you tell us about this position? Oh, man. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Um... <laughs> I'll save it. I'll save it. I'll save it. Because I okay, feel like we're going to leave enough. Andrea out of this. And I, I feel like if you and I just go Kasparov Leko, what's Andrea is just going to feel. I guess I don't watch too many of their live. Uh, you, you know who Gary Kasparov is, right? Yes. I don't okay. listen to him talk too much, but I'm definitely familiar with his gameplay. Let's see. Yeah, so. we'll save. We'll save some of the impressions. <laughs> <sighs> Well, Bishop G5, Daniel, you're, uh, you're not going to get a profit highlight this pod champs just yet. Uh, but it's, it's, it's still on the horizon, potentially. Potentially, yeah. I mean, this is, this is a solid position, but big props to uh, Easy with Aces. He responded very well to that tough, tricky opening. He's gotten a very, very solid position here, and he shows uh, ability knowing how to play D3, developing his bishop. So very well done once again. He definitely has the advantage with the bishop pair. I, I'm Hafu. I don't think she should have allowed the bishop g6 trade. Should have tried to save her bishop, make room with it, maybe with an h6. Wow. I keep saying wow, but these players are really, really impressive. They are. Me. They are just so flat out impressive. Wait, but I have a question. If bishop e7, is knight e7 here the best move? Because queen e7, is there, is there a knight d5? I think there might. I mean, you could take on e7, allow knight d5, and then shift the queen over. But I think that's very dubious. I think you should take with a knight. If she plays knight takes e7, I, 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 I got nothing. She might be a better player than me. OK, mistakes are still possible. She is All still right. human. That's Barely okay, though. human. Finton also uh, blundered a rook, so anything can happen. Hey, don't disrespect my, my student. Still, we are, our students are battling, so we're both head to head here. Uh, you did way more lessons with, with Hafu than with Finton. This is, this is territory war, what this is. This is for group B dominance. 
please play Knight takes D5, Finton, please. It's just a free pawn. It, please don't be afraid of taking free pawns. I mean, you could also develop the bishop here. It's, white is still better if you play bishop D. Oh, he takes the knight. Oh, no. Yeah. I maybe just didn't see it. Oh, I think he may have just realized. No. You know what the dangerous thing about this position is that if she plays that move, what she just played. And now she has a pretty nice attack. Yeah, this could get really mm -hmm. bad really fast. The bishop can't develop itself because g2 is going to be hanging yeah i don't know where he's going to be able to castle his king's kind of stuck in the middle okay. d2. the best move might be something really obscure guys okay. it could be something oh. like queen b1 everybody relax or queen d3 just to train now we got the developer buttons to us yes. then we lose a pawn again he's no, descended into everybody a relax cloud. oh no bishop d3 oh my god how are you going to go into your lounge and then play a move like bishop d3 Benton. Oh, wow. That's my. really cool, though. I have to say, that setup is really cool. Look at that fireplace. I'm disappointed. I mean, you go, you go to the fireplace. You're supposed to stare at the, you know, the, you know, the flames and cultivate good thought. You just bust out Bishop D3 and snap. Yeah, and, I'm uh, curious yeah. if it was like the mindset because after he played knight takes knight he started talking very rapidly so he may have realized he missed the free pawn and got a little bit down on himself and now everything starts crumbling you know yep. this honestly feels like fighting thanos is what this feels like that, that, that like you you just get something you know for for the movie to have like a, a tense moment and then just like done queen takes g2 she's gonna play rook takes h2 you know, one indicator that you're good is not only your good moves, but your bad moves aren't that bad. And we see here that even Hafu's mistakes are, by and large, in the grand scheme of things, they're minuscule. Let's put up Hafu. Speaking of Thanos, let's watch Hafu. Maybe is this throwing? Over I don't know. Yeah. She's <laughs> always very this. focused. Grimacing. What do you even do? Just, is, look, look at that. Look at that humility. Is this throwing? Says I the know. person highlighting okay. the best move on the board. I know. She really needs to chill out now. I mean, I it's getting. It's my throwing. ears are hurting. She's this is very ridiculous. cautious. I take. I mean, the screaming is just. I, I, she would I, run. Oh, is yeah, it my throwing? Head. It's like when TF Blade was like, I don't know, dude. I was just trolling. I don't know. I'm feeling like it's throwing. Like I'm gonna castle. So but then all the pieces are there. She think. Maybe I can just castle this way. I wonder what she's leads. scared. Of. I told her not to be okay, scared we're thinking of those too much. threats. Yep, that's that's definitely something she struggled with at some point. She, I think she's gotten much better at that. And I here hope. we see. Is and okay she too? has. Okay, right. Queen B three. White is still in the game. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. We still got half on the big screen. He said, I don't know, and played the best move. I wish my life was like that. I don't know, best move. I don't know, Same. best move. Am I throwing? Best move. You like Magnus. That's like Magnus. Ah, okay. Yeah, I literally. Yeah, it's not like I lost to him earlier today. <laughs> yeah, how could you, Danya? Uh, Losing to Magnus. Horrible. Unacceptable. You're... I'll get my revenge on him one day. Okay, so he didn't see Queen B3. He's... Staying defensive here. Okay, so now if I go up, if I take. Oh, she's speaking. He oh. takes, I take, he takes. It's not good, right? She's skipping his turn. That's a new level of disrespect. He just said, if I go up and then I take. I mean, does Finton not get a move? My right, move? no, she thinks white doesn't if move. I go that's here not first, absurd. He uh, takes, I such take. Such lack of class. I mean, if I go up. Disgusting. Disgusting. I can start attacking this one. I feel like I'm gonna throw. I mean, here she has many good options. She could castle, yeah. trade rooks, knight before. Mm -hmm. She's gone rook h1. Very sensible does, trading a pair of rooks. How does she see everything? This is crazy. It really does. It's crazy. It is mm -hmm. crazy. I was basically gonna repeat exactly what he said, Levian. <laughs> that's, that's, I, that's I realized that's a reword. <laughs> yeah, but I was independently gonna say the same thing. Just add a Kasparov like accent in there, and she will love it. Yeah, but Hafu, I mean, you know, Hafu really sees everything. You know, it's it's uh, quite uncanny. It reminds me of myself, you know, when I was twelve years old. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he like twenty five hundred and twelve? 
Eamon Dew is like, uh, formally knew it was 2200, but uh, realistically knew my, my playing strength, you knew, was uh, almost as good as half of Bro, you, your Kasparov is like <laughs> the greatest can get trapped? thing ever. Uh, thanks. I, that's how I entertain myself in various, wow. like, like in the shower, you know, and the, yeah, when I'm yeah, walking yeah, around, yeah. making food. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. That's a truly be a good chess player, you have to get in the character too. That's how Johnny trap. does it. Absolutely. He goes here, I can go right, there. We've got, get it back on the big screen here. Not too much happening. Rook H1, clinical move there. The only thing that could happen here is that Hafu disconnects. Uh, she is just playing lights out chess. She's yeah. probably gonna play Rook H8, Rook H1. And... I think it's very unlikely that she disconnects, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> <clears throat> I, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm cheering for that. What I'm saying is that's the only way that I think Finton is going to. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, this is. Uh, he seems to have gotten a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more confident as well. Incredible. Definitely. Still not over. Only two pawns up, and in the grand scheme of things, that is a surmountable advantage. But not the way that Hafu is playing right now. Yeah, a, a great thing about Hafu is many times when players start winning, they get too confident, right? And then it's easy to throw, but she never lets the confidence get to her. She stays focused, even mm -hmm. how winning she is. Yeah, and this is this is the tough thing about defending a position. You play e4, suddenly your center falls apart. This knight now has a new target. If she plays knight takes d4 here, she should be in the next invitational. For, World you know, Cup, I mean, Olympiad. <laughs> yeah, this is... Somebody said, we, we've got a chat pro. I see this. She's up, but confused with no plan. I, she's got a plan. She's. She definitely has a plan. She's just saying she doesn't have a plan. I mean. Oh, yeah, she always doubts herself. That's one of my favorite emotes that Finton has. Chat pro. Like chat a little thumbs pro? Up. Yeah, like, you Never know, because. Well, you should, you should check it out. She just takes an E4. Uh. Even if she accidentally blunders with bishop e4, knight takes d4, she still wins a queen back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if somehow she doesn't it's see bishop still winning, two. yeah. Yeah, I think she intends to give a check on g5 and maybe bring the queen to f6. That would also be solid and strong. Wow, she's calculating it. Oh yeah, my goodness, she might play knight d4. No, she strong. might play knight d4. That's incredible. She, oh, okay, get, get out of town. She really gonna. No, nope. oh, she, she was hovering over she it. She sees but... them both. She sees both lines. My Very goodness. Impressive. Still a perfectly good move. Wow. Why isn't she playing on an Olympiad team? <laughs> she exactly. definitely <laughs> could. She has a dedication for it. She literally could represent. Some 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 of the players, uh, incredible. I, I don't think I've ever seen improvement fast, and I'm not just saying it. Really, improvement faster than her arc, it, unbelievable. Especially if she takes the pawn right now, which she yeah, can she, still do. Yeah, she plays knight takes d4. We I'm home. falling off my chair. <gasps> She's looking at it. Yes, she, she is. See. She's her hovering over it. Are just so sharp, man. Drum roll, please. Wow. Oh wow. my lands. Oh my oh, lands. Oh what? What did you just say? That's a North Carolina expression. Oh my lands. <laughs> Where where'd you pick that up? When'd you go to North Carolina? Well, when I moved to Charlotte, that's when I picked it up. Didn't know that. I don't, I don't think they speak like that in Charlotte. I've been to Charlotte. I don't Yeah, no, not quite. <laughs> but oh my get lands. 30, 45 minutes out of Charlotte and you'll full, see her that expression. Full K Kona. Uh, th there there are some tactical tricks here for example you can play bishop takes b7 check and if king takes b7 you can play queen e4 and hope that now that your queen is out of danger you can take the queen for free but black has queen d5 and your dream is ruined and that is There's a no room for tricks yep and the thing is if finton takes the queen and hafu recaptures then after the king moves, to add insult to injury, there's knight to g3, forcing the trade of bishop or knight, which is in black's favor. Wow. Wow, this is, this is, yeah, this is crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> what does she play now? 
Uh, sorry, what, what, well, I, I guess like fin Finton has to decide where he's going to put his queen. Well, yeah, maybe what? c4. C yeah, c4 is... Be an inter interesting try. He doesn't have, I don't know, he doesn't really have any plan of attack, but I guess just aim towards b7. We could listen in to Fenton, see what plans he's looking yeah, for. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to Fenton, yes. Gets out of the discover check and protects this check square. Like, I don't see, like, <clears throat> I don't see, like, a multi-phase plan, but... Every time we listen in... Oh. Half of is going to have to move her queen. <laughs> Just have a little oversight. Just forget about the queen, Hafu. Prophet has spoken again with queen c4. Yeah. That's a good move. It keeps some of the tension on the board. I mean, it's just yeah, definitely better than trading the queens, going straight into the losing end game. Such an easy to defend. What about this? Check, take. Nope, because of this. Ah. We go to the square. He's searching desperately for any, any counterplay. Forks? That is not a fork. Rookie one fork. threatens bishop takes b7 what check. That might be the best practical chance. Let's take this piece. I calculated rook d1, but I don't think he thought about rook d1. It's just a nice move, isn't it? it? Just protects against his pawn as well. Sorry, Playing there. very I well, I would say. Okay. Oh, we're, 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 we're back. But. Uh, rook e1, if, if rook e1 bishop b7 actually happens, that would be astounding. Mm -hmm. That would be the comeback of the day. Yeah, I, I have a feeling the rook e1 Hafu would anticipate the, the f attack on the queen mover king or something. Yeah, perhaps move her own king to b8, slide it off the light square. Yeah, I don't think she'll fall for, but I don't want to jinx anything, so. Yeah, it's not like any of us jinxed anything in the previous exactly. game, so. Okay, so there is no rook. Mm, yeah, now she can get in with the queen, right? That's going to be the problem. Queen e2, or even queen e3 check. Yep. And wow. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh... This is curtains, my friends, uh, because if you play something like King B1, well, no, I was about to go big brain mode and suggest Queen E4, and that a classic mode says gambit, very nice. That, yeah, with that, a smothered mate. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think Queen E2 is is likely. Queen E2, just a trade. Yeah, I think. Yeah, she... Well, there's many moves here. I mean. She's fully aware of that principle to trading when you're a material. She could also just, you know, even drop her knight back to e6. That's also totally fine. Yeah, maybe try to make room to bring in the, the rook. Mm hmm This is... And this is her game for the same time. Now. She's just going to watch her clock. Knight f5 is an excellent move. Now, notice that f7 mm -hmm. is actually not hanging because of queen to d3 check, picking off the rook. Amazing. The queen is stuck defending. So would, would queen f... See, so, so here's my question. Obviously, she... Wow, she's like very much chill, leaning back in her chair. Um, is... Is she seeing that on queen f7, there is queen d3? I think I, so. Yeah, I don't think she's too worried about the most important defender here leaving. Wow. Oh. Okay, bishop e4. Yeah, because if she saw it wasn't possible, well, then, then that's, 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 that is brilliant. Bishop e4 is losing guys because of the knight forks? Mm -hmm, knight g3. And knight d6, I thought as well, right? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Even oh, better. Any options? <laughs> even better. <laughs> yeah, it's about gg now. 
It's unbelievable. And now queen takes c4 or knight takes c4. Both moves are good. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, one last gasp. One last get... step. Rook d2, queen c7. No. The only way um, that a blunder could happen. She's got enough time. She's going to just yeah. play like c6, the professional move. Oh, absolutely. That is yeah, the with the cautious way. player she is, I anticipate something like c6. Right. And you just see this because the queen and the rook go straight down. Yep. Queen and the rook are biting on granite, and she's done it. Like, mm -hmm. look, when a player is playing 90% of the moves that, like, we are suggesting... Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. He's insane. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, I Listen, I look forward to the playoffs. I really look forward to the playoffs. Uh, this... We've had so many different personality skill levels. Obviously, in the, in the first, first go-round with Pod Champs, we kind of knew we, we want... It's like, it was like Golden State... And, and, and Cleveland for basketball. You just, like Charles Barkley said, you pretended you didn't know, but you knew what was going to happen. And in this one, oh, wow, she plays knight d2. She didn't even play queen takes rook. I think she wants to take it with checkmate. I think she's seen it, and she wants to send with the king class. over to a1 first. Unbelievable. That is... Yeah, Who do that you is... think is going to be Hafu's best competitor? Damn Waga. Waga. Waga, it's, Waga it's top right. player? Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, what is Waga's like rating right now? He's like, like 1400, 1400. 1400. Oh, wow. Okay. That's going to be an incredible matchup then. He's higher rated, but she definitely plays that level. Mm -hmm. And we are, it's official. We have yeah. checkmate on the board. Hafu, uh, it Beautiful seems like she's had, some, she's had some crazy, crazy fights, but she is 4-0. Uh, she has won every game that she's played. Uh, we are going to take a quick break, get the players in on the call. And have interviews. Don't go anywhere. Hafu and Easy with Aces will talk to us in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. We're joined by Hafu and Mr. Finson. Easy with Aces. We were just uh, chatting before we went live. Uh, first of all, congrats to Hafu. Uh, I'll start with Hafu, actually. Anything <laughs> surprise you about this match? Anything, you know, was the... What were you expecting? How did it go differently than maybe your expectations? Uh, well, people said it was kind of laming that we agreed upon our openings, but I mean, you didn't have to agree to it. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what? No, I, I was, I was in. He came into my uh, chat. He came into yeah. my chat, and then I promise uh, no tricks. Yeah, we just said no tricks because, um, yeah. So I know you're trying to tell him to bring something else, which would have been fine, honestly. <laughs> like it's a tournament, you can do whatever you want. But he came into my chat and he's like, oh yeah. We'll just play this and this and i was like okay well i'm gonna bring the baltic and this and then we can both prep wow but, um, that, that is very interesting that i thought i was gonna be able to rip it open though i'm not gonna lie i, I mean, thought you were gonna play it differently i watched a small bit obviously i was drunk but i watched a few minutes of you and anna and anna was showing you how to destroy me and i was just like wow anna's supposed to be my teacher and she's like i'm gonna help you <laughs> was it the same time? Anna, anna went I, to the follower so. count and <laughs> I, was like, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but, honestly no, good business no. decision good business decision. yeah good business <laughs> no 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 i no, can't but honestly I can't no i'm only joking with anna by the way anna's anna's so nice but <laughs> you put me under pressure the whole games and uh, i wish it had have ended slightly different than me blundering the rook but i reckon you're probably the favorite to win it so i hope you go on and win it if i don't get to the finals and that way i can say i lost to the winner and i'll be happy but congratulations thank you on the wins. thank you thank well you. deserved you played so well actually um no matter what you prep versus a line, if you don't have experience versus, or at least me, I haven't played against the Karakon very much. So even though I try to study the lines, it doesn't really matter once the game actually starts. Um, so I, I felt kind of uncomfortable in the position. And you definitely, you were in my pawn structure. You had everything going. I think that first game was yours. Um, I, I just got uh, lucky you missed not, one I thing. Don't I don't know. I would have been hard anyway. Like it wasn't super open and I'm not great at converting from there, but. Yeah, it would have been better if I didn't give the rook away. That would have been the pro play for sure. <laughs> You're, the first game was definitely brilliant, Fintan. That was probably like one of the best games I've seen you play. We were Thank very, very impressed. Much. I appreciate it. We were. Every move we were thinking, yep. both of you like played again and again, and especially you, Fintan, in the first game. And Hapu, of course, the second game was absolutely incredible. And yeah. It and was the best very games beautiful. In Pog Champs literally yeah D daniel went on this big you know monologue about how it was like a brilliant game and then like you you push the pawn and 
the no, next move actually. I, I said <laughs> yeah, this might be, I said this might be the highest quality game ever played at Pog Champs, and then yeah. and you blunder the rook. <laughs> so it's no, all my I mean, fault. It's Play crazy. Pog Champs without it. It, it, it's it's crazy because the so i'm gonna ask both of you this uh i'll start with Vincent this time you know you uh you are right there uh with with pacman and you've got a matchup coming up so <laughs> you either make it to the to the championship bracket or you get bummed down to the consolation bracket so what are you thinking right now and you want to trash talk him the floor is yours i don't mind the trash talking we'll get to that in a moment but like i honestly did see this as a free roll Everybody has been talking about how strong Hafu is and <laughs> has been putting in crazy errors. Obviously, would have loved to pull off the upset, get the win, and to be guaranteed in the final. But in the back of my mind, I kind of knew that I had the next opportunity. That's why I wanted to rip it open real quick and just get our like, kings into awkward positions. But it, it just didn't happen like that. But I mean, Pac-Man's good as well. But I'll shit talk him. I'm coming for you. One of us is going to be in the loser's bracket. It's not consolation. Nobody wants to be there, okay? <laughs> I hope it's you and I hope it's not me. That was that was beautiful. And and Hafu, are you looking forward to your games and then your subsequent interviews with uh, XGC? I believe he called David Pacman white shirt Walter. Um, yeah, he oh. did. Uh, I've never interacted with XQC. I have nothing bad to say about him, but it's more I'm just kind of scared. I hope he doesn't be scared. <laughs> I hope he's not too mean to me. But I think he'll do well. And I, I have a lot less pressure since actually he doesn't have pressure either, huh? Because it doesn't matter. Actually, oh, it does. that's the that's the coldest shade ever thrown. It doesn't matter for him. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't. It won't. Oh, it won't affect. Uh, like I still get to go to winners, and he still, unfortunately, doesn't. So what? It's, nicely. Obviously, less, Hapu's... it's less pressure for us. That's all. What happens if obviously, Hafu is a strong favorite to beat XQC? But if I beat Pacman and me and Hafu were on the same points, or if uh, Pacman beats me, does Hafu automatically go through because she? Yeah, we both would have two wins so yeah mm -hmm. i yeah it's there's there's a, a whole point system tiebreaker system um okay. we we i would love to chat with both of you like about chess okay. and life and everything we we have to let you go we we really do wish you the best of luck both against pacman against xc for the rest thank of the you. tournament amazing performance by thank you for the brilliant games guys <laughs> ciao, ciao. flawless